guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I had a really fun recurring idea I wanted to try out. Um, I don't know if it'll work out or not, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my split cups because I think these are great for tree rings. In the middle, I'm going to go ahead and put white, black, and gold. And um, then I think on one side I'll do cool colors and on the other side I'll do whoops, uh, warm colors. So these, in case anyone didn't get the memo, um, I actually finally came out with my own paint pouring line. So that's what these ones are. I have a fun teal here, really pretty. This is a primary blue. Oopsies, that was a little more than I intended. And this is a royal purple. Now, I was planning on putting more purple in there, so I'm actually going to put a little bit of purple in the warm side also. And for that, I'm going to use purple, uh, primary red, and then primary yellow. So this should be fun. Pretty excited about these colors. I think we'll get a pretty nice rainbow and then some. So what I'm going to do here, and I already forgot where I put my stick. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is... I'm going to go ahead and start a tree ring. So just like this. And after a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and stop. This is a 12 by 12 canvas, by the way. And I'm going to go ahead and wreck it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that again. I'm going to go in the middle here. I'm going with my tree ring. I'm not sure of the outcome of this, but it, it just seemed like a fun thing to try. Okay. Ah. Try not to drip across. So I'm going to go ahead and wreck this again. Try to do it a little differently. Ooh, I'm loving the colors that are coming out there. I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Probably a couple more times. All right, so basically that first initial one has been wrecked like a million times at this point, and then each layer wrecked a little bit less and a little bit less. Now on this last one, I think I'm just going to do those two. I think this looks awesome. Yeah, I think I was just lying in bed last night thinking I almost leapt out of bed to try it, <laughs> but I was like, you know what? <laughs> It can wait, it can wait. There we go. I think that is awesome. That worked out as good as I could possibly imagine. The yellow, it seems like completely disappeared, but I did only put a little bit of that on the top. So you have to kind of think with that when you layer your, your cup of how, which colors are going to really stay on the canvas and not be hidden. So that's okay. We got, I put that purple in there twice. So we got that in there. We got the beautiful teal. We got the gold with the black, which is beautiful. And I love all these lines in the white. So very happy with this. Let's go ahead and let it sit for a minute and then we'll come in for our close-up. All right, starting down here in the lower right-hand corner. It's a little difficult to see in this light, but you can see that beautiful gold with the black, just kind of peeking through there. There's my gorgeous teal. And then the red over here blending with that purple. I think this is super fun. Look at these. So cool. A little more gold on this side. So there you guys have it. Alright guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. I 
think this is such a fun idea, the multiple wrecks. I think it could be actually really fun on a very large canvas. So I may try that at some point. Now the original wreck -a ring idea I got from Molly's Artistry. So I'll put a link for her channel down in the description. Make sure you check that out. And then also check out in the description will be a link for my split cups and my pouring paints if anyone is interested. We'll see y'all next time.